Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about luxury items that you only need one of in your collection. Sort of like a one and done type of deal and this will apply whether you're just starting out your luxury collection, looking to downsize what you already have, or maybe you're thinking of buying something new and you want to make sure that it's not redundant in your collection and will end up not even using. So these are some great tips to keep in mind to help you really curate a practical luxury collection and of course save some of your money too. And honestly, I'm not always perfect at this either, but keeping these points in mind really kind of keeps me in check, especially when I see something that looks really pretty and I'm so tempted to buy it. But of course, this is just my opinion and I would love to know your thoughts on these kind of one and done items in the comments down below. So let's get into this video. So I just counted and I have eight kind of categories to share with you guys and there will be some overlap in these categories which I think really drives home the point that some of these items really are so redundant. And the first category is kind of a polarizing one I think because I will say that you don't need the same exact bag in multiple colors of hardware. So say for instance the bag in silver hardware as well as gold hardware and it could even go further and maybe you have a regular gold hardware that's shiny and then you have a light gold hardware and then you have one with antique gold hardware i think all of that really looks the same and i don't have anything that exactly drives home this point but i think i can show you guys something that is similar enough so i do have the chanel classic flap here which is in the gold hardware and then i also have the reissue flap in this ruthenium hardware and some people do think that this is essentially the same bag. I will kind of argue that they're not really the same, but I can see where they're coming from because they're both quilted, they're basically the same size. And even though the hardware does look different, when you're wearing it, this compared to the rest of your outfit isn't that much hardware at all. So they kind of are the same. If you're really looking to downsize your collection or keep it very minimal, I don't think you need both of these bags and definitely not the same exact bag in these two hardwares. And continuing on with handbags that you really only need one of in your collection, there are just some styles of handbags that really look almost identical from every single designer or luxury fashion house. So take a tote bag for example, whether you get the Louis Vuitton Neverfull or the Goyard Saint Louis tote or you get the Moina O tote or the Saint Laurent shopping tote, you kind of get the idea. All of these look so similar. If if not almost identical aside from the monogramming on it. Tote bags are very simple. They're open on the inside. Maybe you have a pocket here and there, you get this removable pouch, but they're all really the same thing at the end of the day. So I only think you need one in your collection. And similarly, I would say that camera bags fall into the same category because all of them look so similar because the shape is basically fixed and there's not much you can do to change up the look of it. So yes, just get one camera bag, maybe get one that is more affordable rather than more expensive and I think you're set. And next are styles of handbags that are only occasional bags for you. So I think the first thing you might think of when you think of occasional bags are clutches because those are usually reserved for dressy formal occasions. But for you, that could also be top handle bags that don't have a crossbody strap, kind of like the Hermes Birkin or it might be a designer backpack, which that definitely is the case for me because I don't really suit the backpack style. And if I were to buy any designer backpacks, I would definitely limit it to one because I just wouldn't get enough use out of it. And this point is something that I realized after getting multiple clutches and realizing that I really don't need that many in my collection. So I have two, but kind of three clutches in my collection. So the first one is this kind of blood pink color YSO wallet on a chain which I really just use as a clutch and then I have this darker one also from YSO that is a little bit smaller and between the two of these I really only use this one when I'm dressing up because I tend to wear lighter colored outfits when I'm dressing up for any type of event whereas for this one I really have to match my outfit to the specific bag in order to actually use this so this bag is completely redundant in my collection 
and I'm actually thinking of selling this bag so I might put together a vlog sale type of thing. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see such a video, if you're maybe interested in any items in my collection, let me know in the comments down below. And then for this one, even though I do use it quite a bit, I'm kind of starting to think that this is also something that I don't need in my collection because I have recently, well, within the past half a year, bought this set of Kirigami Pochette from Louis Vuitton. And this biggest one over here is basically a clutch style bag. And even though they kind of do look the same in size, this one fits so much more because you don't have all those interior compartments over here that really suck up so much space. And I do like my mini bags, but I don't like my bags being so small. So I think I want to buy a mini bag that is kind of the same type of color, but gives me more capacity in my bag. So between the three of these, I kind of only need this one. So yes, I'm thinking of potentially selling these two. So let me know if you might want to purchase these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but do let me know your thoughts. So I'm going to switch things up a little bit and talk about shoes for this next point. And I really don't think you need the same style of shoe in the same color in different types of leather. So for example, one pair in a smooth calf leather and one pair in a pan leather finish and then another one in suede. And this is definitely a mistake that I've personally made myself because I do kind of have a bit of a thing for buying shoes and I have a decently sized shoe collection and worse yet i do gravitate towards wearing pumps most of the time so my collection largely consists of different pairs of pumps in different colors but most of them are black so yes i do have a pair of black pumps in calf leather and then pan leather and then suede and honestly between those three pairs of shoes the one that i usually grab when i want a pair of black pumps is the one in the smooth calf leather so the other two are really redundant in my collection and if i were to narrow down my shoe collection those two pairs would definitely not be staying. So I've noticed that every so often there is a color or a pattern from a seasonal collection at places like Louis Vuitton or Chanel that is super hyped up and so hard to come by and people just start flocking to get their hands on anything and everything in this color or pattern. And I think it is so silly because Say for instance, you buy multiple bag styles in this one specific color. How often are you going to be wearing this color bag and do you really need five of them? And usually these really limited, hard to come by colorways are not very neutral colors. For Chanel, it tends to be the iridescent colors. How often are you going to be wearing an iridescent bag? And do you need the medium classic flap in this iridescent color and then a mini flap and then a wallet on a chain? And then do you also need 10 SLGs in the same color too? All of this seems so redundant to me. And if you're trying to curate your collection down to a very manageable size, that is definitely something that you should not waste your money on. This next point is dedicated to SLGs. And at the very most, I only think you need one from each of these four categories of SLGs. So the first category is your small card holder. Your second category is a key pouch or key holder. Your third category is a mid-size or full-size wallet. And then the fourth category is a cosmetic pouch. And this is at the most the amount that you need. And honestly, I think that you can cut that down even further. And I would say that the worst type of SLG for getting multiples of is your flat card holder. So I have this one flat card holder from Chanel. And yes, it's cute. It's in a nice color. But honestly, whether you get a card holder from Chanel, you get one from Saint Laurent, one from Gucci, another one from Louis Vuitton, all of them look exactly the same. You have one, maybe two compartments in the front, you have the one down the center, and then on the back you have two more card slots. There's really not much you can do to change the design of a flat card holder. So why would you want multiples, right? So I actually am thinking of getting a different type of flat card holder because I really like the logo that's on the Chanel 19 bags. So I'm considering getting that, but 
but if I were to get another card holder, I would definitely end up selling this one because a card holder or any type of SLG really just lives in my bag and the only time anyone but me ever sees it is those brief moments when I'm taking this out of my bag to grab a card out of it or something or if I'm taking a photo for Instagram or showing it on YouTube, but for practical purposes, it's really unnecessary and the price is not exactly cheap. So this almost makes the price of my $6,000 classic flap seem like a steal in comparison because if you think of the leather that goes into this compared to the amount of leather in the classic flap, that one almost seems like it's worth it in comparison, but I think all of us know that the prices of Chanel are just crazy in general. And these last two points are going to be about Louis Vuitton specifically, and I just know that they're going to be so polarizing. So if you disagree with me, or maybe you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. So this first point is that you do not need every single bag that they release, which Louis Vuitton releases so many styles of bags every season. You do not need to buy all of them all in the monogram pattern because it is so redundant. It just all looks the same. You can get a bag in damn Ben, and then another one in Damier Azur. You can get some in the Epi leather, some in the Ampron, and it goes on and on. There's really so many other types of bags that you can get from Louis Vuitton. I don't know, is it just me? Am I in the minority on this? So for this last tip, you don't need to buy all the items to form a so-called complete set in your mind. And I've noticed this a lot with Louis Vuitton collectors where they want to buy a trifecta of the three canvas prints of a certain type of SLG or bag, or maybe they want all the sizes of an SLG or bag. So with the trifecta of canvas prints, you have people that want to get, for example, the mini pochette accessoire in the monogram, Damier Azur and Damier Aben, or they might want the three sizes of the toiletry pouches, or you can extend that to bags and it goes even further because for example, if you want to buy the Neverfull in the PM, MM, and GM, and then you want to buy each of those sizes in the three canvas prints, that's nine bags and it just gets so excessive, so redundant, so unnecessary. So I would say that maybe pick your favorite type of canvas print for an item that you want and pick the best size that suits your needs and just get one of those and that is definitely more than enough. So there you have it. These are the tips or points on luxury items that I only think you need one of in your collection so you can really avoid having any unnecessary or redundant items in your collection. And yeah, I hope that this was interesting to you guys. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And of course, like I mentioned, let me know any comments you have regarding this video down in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week. And I'll leave two videos up on the screen for you to watch next so i'll see you very soon bye for now mm -hmm.